Doesn't get much better than that right there, huh? Hey, what you're about to watch, uh, it's not a vlog, it's, there's no real story. It's, uh, it's just a collection of moments from our trip to Europe that mean a lot to me. So buckle up, grab a cup of coffee, drink an espresso for my European lads. Just sit back and enjoy uh, this collection of moments that I captured. So our first stop was Barcelona, and we spent two days there. I thought Barcelona was the perfect mix between there's a ton going on, but also it's, it's nice and quiet, not overwhelming. Maybe that was just when we were there, but it was the perfect mix for me. We did some shopping, we got to eat at some nice restaurants, we did all the touristy things that you do when you're in Barcelona, but honestly the best part was the hotel breakfast, so good. So in Barcelona, we boarded our cruise and then made our way to our first stop on the cruise in Corsica, a French island. Corsica was nice. It had some fun streets to check out that felt very European and un-American, which was cool. We made sure to get some French bread. Can I have a, a glass of white wine? Yes. You had an IPA beer? Yes. Can I do that one? Okay. But overall, it was a pretty small town with a limit on what you could see, but it was great for getting us ready for our next stop though. And after we left Corsica, we made our way to a place that needs little to no introduction. I think the first thing that jumped out to me about Rome was just immediately how much more impressive the history was there. It's not really much history or landmarks you can appreciate in America really past the 1600s, but in Rome it was awesome getting to see things that were 2,000 years old. Dude, Blake, chill out with that travel influencer stuff, boy. Stepping in front of the camera like that? I'm gonna get a few detail shots. While we did enjoy Rome, it did pretty quickly start to feel like we were just going from one thing to the next and only seeing it because we felt like that was what we were supposed to do when we were there. But we definitely really enjoyed our time. For our next destination, we traveled just a little bit south and ended up porting in. So while we ported here, we actually didn't spend any time in Naples. We went to a couple different places. So we ended up going to Positana, Sorrento, and the Amalfi Coast. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this footage can just, uh, just speak for itself. Let's go on. 
walking in the city tonight You wear the dress that makes you look so nice Like my fancy shoes I wore them just for you Tell me why all the good ones go So from there, the next place we headed was the Cinque Terre. Should have left my other lens on. So our time in the Cinque Terre was definitely my favorite day. The weather could have been a little bit more cooperative at the beginning, but it was just so cool. I mean, taking a train in between these five little cities and each one having their own thing to do, you know, one's the best place to stay, one's the most picturesque, one's the best wine. But definitely of all the places so far, this one's definitely at the top of our list of places we'd actually go back to. This is definitely where we felt the effects of being on a cruise more than any other. And what I mean by that is the time limit to get back onto the boat. And wishing we could have more time at each stop and not feeling like we have to rush everything. But I mean, this place was just incredible. So we didn't know at that point, but that was actually our second to last day because we would get woken up the next morning by the captain saying it was too windy in the night and we didn't get to go to Cannes, France, which we had a photo shoot planned there, which we were really excited about. But we got to spend the day at sea and then we made it to our next destination, which was Palma. <laughs> So our time in Palma was great. I think we were a little tired from just running and running all the previous days. And my favorite part was sitting back at lunch and talking to this couple from the UK and just sharing life experiences and sharing how different but similar different parts of the world are to where you are. But ultimately, I think the biggest takeaway from this trip is it's just a breath of fresh air got lots of new experiences and, and memories that I can look back and I've been thinking of life recently as this life is this well and I've had this bucket this pail and I've dropped to the bottom hoping to get a splash but you just see this dust come up and it's just dry as can be but I'd say some some water was filled up in this trip through experiences conversations that's what this trip means to me. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for supporting this channel. Please let me make something beautiful. A thing that reminds us there's 